Record in Stalker Town here. It's been a little while. Just checking in with everybody. Um, hope everyone's staying healthy this year and um, just trying to be the best version of yourself. I'm at the restaurant right now. Uh, we're open on <clears throat> throughout the week now. We we're, were just open on the weekdays, but now we're open throughout the week. And. Um, <clears throat> I've added pizzas to the menu. I haven't officially added it, but um, the pizzas will really be on the menu in like a week or so. I, I've tried it. I gotta get some more of the um, <clears throat> some more food to go with it. So um, I gotta order some stuff. Some stuff I can't find in the stores here. So that's that's the hold up right now. But um, just to let everyone know that really the restaurant is really an extension of my practice. So. Um, you know, really, the restaurant should be your doctor's office. It should be your lab, your laboratory. Um, so, really, um, uh, this is my office. You know, this is where the, the healing happens. Um, so, yeah, this is definitely, it's definitely a great place to be because it's healing energy here. The food itself is meant to heal the whole body. You know, so you don't have to be guilty about what you eat when you come here. So it's growing. You know, it's it's. It's definitely a, definitely a great thing to be here and to be able to share, you know, recipes and certain things with people um, to, you know, help them live a healthier life. And, you know, we stress helps help so much, much, but it's hard to, it's not really accessible. So this is why uh, I decided to do the restaurant to make it more accessible for people who want to eat that way. Um, it's really important to understand uh, why it is why it is important to be healthy and what it when it comes to you know not just the physical body but the mental body itself uh, as well and knowing that um, you can't really think straight when you have toxic food in your body it pollutes the mind you can't really accept truth for what it is life reality for what it is it changes your perception of reality changes a lot of things. A uh, high starch diet has been shown to cause a high divorce rate <laughs> in couples because starch is the, um, the greatest manipulator of mood, mood and emotion in the state of consciousness. It's a high starch diet. So, um, you know, this, your whole reality as a whole um, is, has to do with health. It's how you see the world. And it's important that we have to uh, be strong out here on, on the battlefield, per se. <laughs> Can't have broken soldiers out here trying to repair our culture and our, our community. So, and we want to circulate that dollar in our community. You know, we get paid on these on these jobs, nine to five jobs, and the money goes right out of our community <laughs> within a couple of hours. But you look at these other communities, you'll see the Asians and the Indians and the Jewish. All these communities, their, their dollar circulates around at least 10 to 13 times before it leaves their community. Ours doesn't even cycle, cycle around once, once if we're lucky. So, so when you come here, you're not just uh, eating healthy, you're also supporting you know, our community and the growth of it and the sustainability of it. So, um, I got a phone call coming in, so I may have to. Stop this video, hold on one second. Oh, well. But anyway, so, yeah, just just keep that in mind. Understand that, you know, health is wealth, as you may have heard many times, but it's very true. Uh, you spend your whole life on these jobs and uh, don't realize that after you, f you retire, you're gonna spend all that money that you made <laughs> trying to repair your health. And, uh, Understanding this, this whole uh, certificate of vaccination ID, what they call COVID, um, and understanding that uh, the the virus itself doesn't even pass the seven criteria of what life is. If you look up the seven criteria of life, you'll see that it has to have a metabolism for it to be true. So for a virus to to contract the virus, you have to see that it has to be a living thing has to have a metabolism, has to be able to reproduce. All these different criteria 
but your virus isn't even meat. So a virus is technically dead by definition. So how you catch something that's dead already doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but you don't have to take my word for it. Just look it up. Just look it up. Like I tell everybody else, just look it up for yourself. That way you're not just hearing someone say something and dismissing it. You know, you want to do your own research on this stuff. But look up the seven criteria of what life is. And then you then come back and, and respond to my video and tell me, can you catch a virus? Can't catch it. You can't catch one that's already dead. By definition, you can't. So, um, just stay aware we're out here, you know. <laughs> I was gonna make a funny video about um, how much the government loves us, loves me. <laughs> how much it protects me and provides for me. <laughs> come on, y'all, come on, this thing for real. We gotta be aware right here. Stop falling for this stuff that they always throw in your face. <laughs> if it's free, it costs too much. <laughs> if a vaccination is free, then it costs too much, trust me. But anyway, take it, take it as you will. This is just a message for those who want to receive information so with that said i'm gonna get back to work in this healing healing house called a restaurant my doctor's office see some beautiful food with some beautiful colors you know see the bar already up here the colors the rainbows the vibrations that you see So just um, just keep that in mind and stay healthy out here. Remember, this is a lifestyle, not a diet. And stay safe out there. Peace.